that are um, not got the courage to get up here. So I wanted to encourage them. It's titled, um, A Letter to the Unspoken Poet. Ooh. Well, I say I'm sensitive about my shit. Should I withhold it or should I spit? Lines that catch your mind's attention or words never mentioned because I fear my gift, you hear, may be dismissed. But it would be selfish of me to keep it tucked away. I'd rather get you lifted than have you anticipate the moment I step to the mic. Will I make good use of the tool or will I just run foolish riddles for the people's amusement with worthless information that they can't use? Mm. Now I'd rather those that came to receive leave with something for my gift will be a curse if you left with nothing. You need truth no matter how much it hurts. Even if I got to get sticky, grimy down in the trenches in the dirt, you got to see that life ain't all pretty. Most of that is only TV. So tune in as I go in and do my thing. This journey will not only bless you, but it will also most certainly bless me. See, it used to be just my words and thoughts, but you can't listen. Tell me, how can words be transcribed if never heard, just written by the unspoken poet? Is there a prescription for unspoken word? Just a few steps to the mic. So why write just to write? Write to be heard because it's your right to be heard. How dare I allow you to silence me? I am not your slave, you do not own me. I use you to echo my sound and melody and in turn God uses me as an instrument of delivery. I claim victory because I will be heard. I cannot and will not be deterred. The words of an unspoken poet. Yeah, that's me. Finally, <laughs> finally. Hmm. Finally, a remedy to my soul, poetic therapy. So I'm gonna get the courage to stand up to that mic that's no longer holding me. Because I've come to realize that it's not until that very moment that I step to the mic that I find myself giving it life. And as it comes alive, I gain full control. And as I deliver every word, oh, what a beautiful birth. So please be heard. Scream to the mountaintops that I have a dream and can't be stopped. I have to give the people peace. Yes, hope is still alive. If I just step up to the mic and push my pride aside, I could possibly save a life. Or speak to the youth that's dealing with struggle and strife at such a young age, dying one by one simply because they feel they about that life. So I'm going to be the one to take a stand and deliver a word for I am the voice of the unspoken poet. I feel it is time that I be the spoken poet that's heard. Thank you.